the only place if you go you will never come back yat gatva nanivartante taddhama paramam mama it is called sri vaikuntham unfortunately our mentality you know very cheap mentality return ticket is always cheap so we are buying the return ticket <laughs> one way ticket is more expensive and we forgot about a one way ticket everywhere even if you go up to brahma lokam we are going with a written ticket no doubt about that you can become indra chandra brahma rudra any number of devi devatas again until that jivatma attains moksha it seems once brahma the chaturmukha brahma thought he is a very big shot good he went to vaikuntham and he told the dwarapalakas jaya and vijaya can i have audience with narayana they said hello hold up let's get permission from the boss they went inside and came back bhagavan sriman narayana is asking sir what type of brahma are you what kind of brahma are you brahma got shocked what nonsense are you talking i am the only brahma then the gatekeepers just smiled at the ignorance of the chaturmukha brahma and said sir you may be thinking you are the only brahma we are the gatekeepers we have seen many brahmas come and go by you are actually the seventh brahma sir for lord narayana so bhagavan is asking what type of brahma are you <coughs> so even brahma devatas they still until they attain moksha they will take birth again yat gatva nanivartante going where you will never come back that is sri vaikuntha and the only person that can give is sri man narayana that sri man narayana incarnated as lord lakshmi narsimha in the satya yuga as rama in treta yuga as krishna in vapara yuga as srinivasa in kali yuga any one of them of course mahalakshmi is equally capable of giving moksha and for that sharanagati is the only one thing whether we like it or not you are all experts in divya prabandha my acharya said learn two sentences you know how the temple has come you know me for nearly 30 years when we asked acharya the same thing swami you are asking me the most ignorant of all the people the one who committed a million mistakes establish a sri vaishnava sanidhi and talk about sharanagati i don't even know prabandham what i can do he said don't talk like a stupid even if you learn the 4000 verses you will not get moksha unless you do two things manasa vacha karma vih with trikarana shuddhi first thing he taught me whatever and all said gunakke nama chevu exact was yiliki yiliki solra gunakke nama chevu ellarkum pandre unakkum pandre no only to sriman narayana and the second thing you should do manapatam in amudanai kandakangal matrundi nai kaanave manapurvama trikarana shuddhiya mano vacha karma vihi believe in these two sentences and do you don't have to search for lord narayana narayana will come in search of you and you know how narayana has come here and now you know how difficult it is temples running constructions etc what people are going through now they would have understood exact words of acharya if you honestly believe in these two sentences and practice them in your thinking in your speech and in your actions all of them should be just thinking of one thing only nothing other than that bhagavan will come in search of you therefore that sharanagati is very simple merito girisar gopal it doesn't stop there those that are going unless and until they come to that level moksha is impossible but that moksha yet gatva nanivartante going where nobody has come back so how do you know first of all there is moksha at least the bhagavan out of his own compassion has sent namal bar for us he is the only one one and the only one who could go to sri bai kuntam and listening to the prayers of the sishyas of namalva bhagavan was so merciful to grant namalva back to us and who could describe sri bai kuntam imagine for the past 10 years you are doing the job and no increment nothing for you give
happy with their job. What about our lives for the past 30 years, 50 years, we are there exactly in the same way. What progress have we made in our spiritual life? Are we not calculating 10 years back when I came to this country, how much property I had? I was in a rental apartment. Now I own my own five bedroom house. Spiritually, what do we own? If death were to come to us the next minute, are we going to go to heaven and then come back? Are we going to go to hell and come back? Are we going to get Sri Vai Puta and will never come back? Just accept the Sharanagar. For which Bhagavan himself says, if you are there at the level of Bhagavad Ramanuja, sure you can do Sharanagati by yourself. If not, just listen to what Bhagavan said. Tat vidhe pranipatena pariprashnena sevaya upadekshanti te jnanam jnaninaha tatva darshinaha. Go to your Mahatma, go to your Acharya. Fall at his feet. Do service to the Acharya. Keep on asking him whatever your doubts are. And when that Mahatma, the Acharya, is pleased with you, Upadekshanti te jnanam. How fortunate it is for us. The other day to see both the Adagai singers going and meeting Andavan Swami. How fortunate it is for us to see. <coughs> they are all very happy. They are Mahatmas. They have no differences. Unfortunately, we the small Lilliputs and small potatoes are the ones. Thinking, unfortunately, you are Vadagalai, I am Tengalai, you are Ahobiramatam, you are Andavan Ashram. Unfortunately, overcome all these concepts. With the folded hands, I am appealing to you. Now you know how great or how difficult it is to have such a Mahatma Mahan, that Ranganatha over there. Humanly impossible. The people who were there associated, they know. Right from either getting the Vigrahas over here or to enjoy Namalbar Moksha. All the Acharyas have said only one thing. All the Alvars have said only one thing. Why do you think Bhagavad Ramanuja has to say, Yavat Sharira Patam Atraiva Srirange Sukhamasva? Do you think Kanchi Vardaraja is in any way inferior? But Ramanuja was dragged all the way to Srirange. Do you think Tupul is in any way inferior? Deshika was there dragged all the way to Srirange. Enjoy Srirange. If you are fortunate, be there in that Sri Ranga. If you cannot be for whatever reason, at least be with Ranganatha wherever he is. If Sita Devi has said, Yatra Ramo Tatra Ayodhya, what is Sri Ranga? Wherever there is Lord Sri Ranganatha, that's so. all. If that Sri Ranganatha is not there, that is not Sri Ranga. If that Sri Ranganatha is there, that is Sri Ranga. He can have many, many Sri Rangas. We are thinking only one Bhulokam. Go back to Purasekar Alvar, he says, Prudhvi Renuhu Adu Payamsi Kanika. Enjoy Sharanagati. If you have already taken Sharanagati, again with the folded hands we are appealing to you, keep up your Sharanagati. Don't do Bhagavata Pacharam. Never, never do Anya Devata Aradhana. You can drink poison and you may come out alive. You can keep your hands in the mouth of a cobra and still you can be alive. You do Anya Devata Radhana, forget about it. You will never get moksha. For somebody who is a prapanna, anybody who is other than Sriman Narayana and his incarnations are just Anya Devatas. But unfortunately our small brain I did not say small brain. Lord Krishna says, Antavattu phalam tesham tadbhavati alpa medhasam. Alpa medhasam. If somebody says your brain is only this much, how do you feel? That's what Lord Krishna says. Because your intelligence is only that much, you are going to the other devatas. Your benefits are also that much. That's all he says. Whereas, Anybody who surrenders to Krishna will go only to Sri Vaikuntam. 
But you know, our small brains are telling New York City mayor is exactly equal to New York State governor, is equal to a congressman, is equal to a senator, is equal to the secretary of state, is equal to the vice president, is equal to the president. Any stupid is here to believe that statement, sir? New York City mayor is exactly the same as the president of the United States, right? The mayor of Pomona has power, but he is exactly the same as the president of the United States. Nobody will believe it. But unfortunately, we believe that in religious life. That is why Lord Krishna says, Bahunam Janmanam Ante Jnanavan Maam Prapatyate Vasudeva Sarvamiti Samahatma Sudurlavara You are thinking Gandhi Mahatma, Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi is Mahatma. Good for him. But Lord Krishna is calling only that person a Mahatma who after thousands and thousands of births have come to the only one conclusion, <coughs> Vasudeva is a Sarvam. And if you have that Jnanam, that is a Jnanam. What is a Jnanam? Vasudeva Sarvam. One who realizes that. And if you realize that, what you do? Prapadyate, you go and surrender to him. Become Mahatmas. The request from all our side is, become Mahatmas. Be fortunate to be called a Mahatma by Bhagavan Krishna himself. When? Vasudeva Sarva Miti Sa Mahatma Sudurlataha An opportunity for all of you. Please, if you have not taken Sharanagati, just imagine death is a certain. It can happen in the next one second. If so, what will be our future? If you want to avoid it, if you want to avoid Narakavasam, that is why the great Alvar says, Kumbhi pakam gurumapi harehe narakam napane <coughs> Ramya rama murdutanulata nandane napirantum Diviva bhuviva narakova narakantaka prakamam Either swargam or narakam guaranteed. Again, birth again is guaranteed. The only thing we should worry about is how to reach Sri Vaikuntha. Enjoy that Sri Vaikuntham by surrendering to Lord Krishna, who is exactly the same as Lord Narayana, is exactly the same as Lord Rama, Lord Narasimha, <coughs> Lord Srinivasa. Enjoy Sharanagati. Namalvar Moksham. If you have not made up your mind to surrender, you are missing a lot. If you have already surrendered, please keep up your Sharanagati. Come together, come together. Only when we are on the ground level, she is in the first floor, you are in the tenth floor, he is in the thirty-second floor. Take a plane and go to thirty thousand feet. Everything looks like a matchbox. There is no difference between the tenth, tenth floor apartment or the thirty-second floor apartment. Just only on the ground level we are looking up and down, that's all. When you go to Sri Vaikuntham, Bhagavan Sriman Narayana he is there ready to accept every Jivatma that is there coming in the Acharya Parampara, up to Vishwaksena, to Mahalakshmi, to Sriman Narayana. No distinctions. Everybody is only a Mukta. Please, please remember, in Muktas, nobody said he is a Vadagalai Mukta. They never said he is a Tengalai Mukta. They never said he is a Ahovila Matam Mukta. They never said he is a Poundari Kapuram Ashramam Mukta. Everyone is a Mukta. That's all there. There are no differences there. Please practice it. Enjoy Bhagavan Sriman Narayana.